It has just gone 8 o'clock Central African time. Good evening and welcome to the News Bulletin at 8, brought to you by Swatton TV. My name is Sandy Boingon, alongside Zamad Zamanza. Thank you so much indeed for choosing to stay with us. We're coming to you live from our Hospital Hill Studios in Babane. Let's take a look at our top stories. His Majesty King Imswati III today received letters of credence from the Ambassador of Portugal to Eswatini and the Ambassador of Ghana to Eswatini. The patron of the Eswatini Hospital at home, Mingo Skatilanga says it remains the organization's top priority to see the nation joining hands and enabling it to meet its obligations. And the Prime Minister of Eswatini, Cleopas Damini, says the Parliament of Eswatini's strategic plan and website is not only aligned with the national strategy, but it also provides crucial content that will be instrumental in achieving its objectives. And other news in detail. His Majesty King Imswatu III says African nations have to work hard in order to ensure the success of the African continental free trade area. His Majesty the King was speaking at Lozita Palace, where the two ambassadors presented their letters of credence to His Majesty. The President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Akufo Addo, is grateful to His Majesty the King for the support that the Kingdom of Eswatini extended to Ghana, which enabled the Republic to host the Secretariat of the African Continental Free Trade Area. This was disclosed by the newly accredited Ambassador of the Republic of Ghana to Eswatini, his Excellency Charles Oviredo, who was the first envoy to present letters of credence to His Majesty the King at Lozita Palace. High Commissioner Designate of the Republic of Ghana, Your Majesty, please. <laughs> The ambassador said His Majesty's support reflects his wishes to see African countries trading among themselves without any barriers. Your Majesty, it's my honor to convey warm and fraternal greetings from your brother, the President of the Republic of Ghana. His Excellency Nanadu Dankwa Akufuado. Your Majesty, I wish to assure you that Ghana and the Kingdom of Eswatini will continue to collaborate within international organizations such as the United Nations, the Commonwealth, and the Non Aligned Movement to bring about peace and security in the world. Your Majesty, the future of Ghana and Eswatini relations can only be brighter. I also have the honor to submit the letters of recall of my predecessor. Dr. George A. Sibuatin, who has completed his tour of duty and returned home. Thank you, Your Majesty. His Majesty the King says African countries must move past the COVID-19 pandemic and focus on implementing the African Continental Free Trade Area, which has the potential to stimulate economic growth across the continent. I am delighted to welcome you and uh, to receive the letter of credency by which His Excellency, the President of Ghana, accredits you as your country's High Commissioner here in the Kingdom of uh, Eswatin. We are looking forward to that uh, through this uh, uh, organization, the Free Trade Area, which uh, the African Union has uh, established, uh, will make some differences in all the people uh, of uh, Africa, uh, because the intention of this uh, organization was really to see whether Africa can uh, trade very effectively uh, amongst uh, member states, uh, because it has been a long time uh, that Africa has not been able to trade very effectively. Uh, so many countries within Africa felt the need uh, that we really need to establish a structure which is the free trade area. So we are looking forward that uh, with your establishment here uh, you will make yourself available uh, 
so that uh, more and more activities between ourselves, Ghana and the Ghana and the Kingdom uh, of Eswatini will uh, flourish uh, much, much uh, more. With these words, High Commissioner, it is a pleasure for me to welcome you, and I wish to give you an assurance that uh, we will give you all the necessary support that you need uh, whilst uh, you carry out the duties as the High Commissioner. And uh, please convey my personal greetings to the President, wishing him continuous prosperity for the people of Ghana. I thank you. On the news, I'm Sandy Lemakanya reporting from Lozita Palace. The ambassador of Portugal to Eswatini has also presented his letters of credence to His Majesty King Swati III at Lozita Palace. Thank you so much for receiving me. And the state people for coming. Thank you so much. His Excellency Antonio Costa Moura from Portugal was the second envoy who presented his letter of credence to His Majesty the King. Though Portugal is a reliable partner of the development aspirations of Eswatini with investments from Portuguese companies in various economic sectors, his Excellency holds the view that the bilateral trade and investment track record between the two nations still lies to fall behind its potential. When presenting his letters of credence to His Majesty the King, the ambassador called for the signing of a bilateral investment treaty that will fast-track trade and economic activity between the two nations. Your Majesty King Mswati III, I would like to start by thanking you deeply uh, to you for the opportunity to present my letters of credence. It's a, really an honor for me, and I wish that my formal accreditation in Eswatini presents a renewed impulse for the strengthening of historical ties between our countries. We understand, Your Majesty, that mutually beneficial partnerships can be, can be developed in areas such energy, infrastructures, agriculture, water management, or information and communication technologies. In all these, Portuguese companies have a solid international experience and a strong, well-established and skilled presence in the region. The ambassador has requested Eswatini to lend its support towards Portugal's candidacy to the United Nations Security Council for the term 2027 to 2028. His Majesty the King expressed Eswatini's appreciation to Portugal for the developmental assistance that Portugal has continually extended to the Kingdom through the European Union. Your Excellency the Ambassador and uh, your whole delegation, I'm delighted to welcome you and uh, to receive the letter of credency by which uh, His Excellency the President of uh, Portugal accredits you as your country's ambassador here in the Kingdom of uh, Eswatini. We also value the contribution that uh, Portugal uh, makes, uh, contributes uh, during the or through the uh, the EU uh, programs, which uh, has also transformed a lot of economic activities here in the country. Just recently, the EU and uh, Africa have once again uh, renewed, uh, or maybe not just Africa, the Africa, Caribbean, 
uh, Pacific countries. Uh, we have once again renewed uh, the agreement, uh, which of course will help uh, transform uh, our economies. We, we value the, the, the support which the EU uh, continues to place uh, in the programs uh, of Africa. We give you assurance that uh, we will give you all the necessary support uh, as the ambassador uh, whilst uh, you carry out uh, the, the duties. On the news, I'm Sandy Lemakanya reporting from Lozita Palace. The patron of Swatan Hospice at home in Kosikatilangangaze says it remains the organization's top priority to see the nation joining hands and enabling it uh, to meet its obligations. Kosikati spoke when she received a donation from the Methodist Church, Women's Manyano, on behalf of the organization and uh, at Hospice at home in Matsapa headquarters. Kosikati was represented by Dr. Sonene Nyao. A partnership that has stood the test of time this best describes the enduring friendship between Eswatini Hospice at Home and the Methodist Church Women's Maniano, a group of prayerful women from the Methodist Church who have religiously extended a helping hand towards the organization every year and without fail. Their support can be largely attributed to Ingoskati Magelangangaza's solid leadership skills which continue to attract strong support for the organization. The patron, who was represented by Dr. Sone Nenyao, received the donated items, which included knitted warm clothing, food items and toiletries, with a deep sense of gratitude. We wish to extend our heartfelt and special welcome to Bomage Bemenyano, their families and the entire church fraternity who are always a part of this event without fail annually. We wish to clearly state that it remains one of our uppermost commitments to see everyone join hands with Eswatini Hospice at Home to meet the needs of people with life-limiting conditions. Your commitment fellow Christians is even more significant this time around as the needs and costs of living are showing sharp increase on a day-to-day -day basis. We believe that despite the hard challenges and times we are all faced with, friends of hospice and the entire Emaswati will continue to be passionate and support the work that is before us and commit even more to our cause and mandate. The donation was presented by the president of the women's Manyano Eswatini region, Harriet Gunene. Hallelujah. Um, palliative care because I care. Mkabanga koko kuti noma besinga tama kuchincha koko kuti glonyaga sisabuka loku unye but bekta spetela. Nye koko kuti kute laga ga hospice at home me and they is all of us together. Ngobe namusha kukula kulelwa lo, kukula lo, kusasa, kutaukula mine. The Minister of Health, Liz Nkosi, heaped praises on Inkosgati Magalang Kangaza for being deeply passionate about her patronate duties at Eswatini Hospice at home. Le sikbonga koge kungoskat le 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 peselom sebendi na le sikbonza salom sebendi. Ngutsi lom sebendi uzinga kusinhliti yo yakho ibe like us. Lom sebendi uzinga kutsi ufake emandla akho uphinze ucabange ngetikhasi tonke kutsi ke awufi kaphi uta awufi kaphi nawo. Siyabonga kutsi inkosikati lapho ikhona khona ngumsebenti lo senhlitweni yakhe lo. 
ngumsebenti lapha sinaka assistant in the gap lapha akhona khona akhona kusiphakamisela lelo thosh loku sisibone ukuthi uyazinga kala umsebenti ubaluleke kakhulu on the news i'm sandi lamakhanya reporting in matapa the Parliament of Eswatini strategic plan and website is not only aligned with the national strategy, but it also provides crucial content that will be instrumental in achieving its objectives. This was set by the Prime Minister Cleopas Lamini when launching the two Parliament tools at Sibayani Loch in Matsapa. On Thursday, the Prime Minister Cleopas Lamini officially launched the new Eswatini Parliament website and a five-year strategic plan. Speaking when officially launching these two tools, Prime Minister Cleopas Lamini said these tools meet to fulfill His Majesty's wish when he officially opened the fourth session of the 11th Parliament, where he encouraged Parliament to continue placing the Kingdom of Eswatini in the forefront with executing their constitutional mandate. Today, we meet, we meet to fulfill His Majesty's wish when he officially opened the fourth session of the 11th Parliament where he encouraged Parliament to continue placing the country in the forefront when executing their constitutional mandate. This was taken into serious consideration during the process of formulating the two Parliament tools we are launching this morning. The Parliament website and the strategic plan signify the commitment and the passion the Parliament and all strategic partners have to do Parliament work with integrity, transparency, accountability, which is what our system of governance promotes. Honorable parliamentarians, ladies and gentlemen, as we embark on the journey of digitizing the way we do business in Parliament, our work will now be known not only in the chambers but globally. This is the spirit of good governance and demonstration. The government of the Kingdom of Eswatini through the Ministry of ICT and the Royal Science and Technology Park has invested in ICT to ensure the possibility and every resource, that every resource has access to information through the use of ICT. On another note, the Prime Minister said the strategic plan will yield a positive, long-lasting parliament transformation within the remaining time of office of the 11th parliament, whereas projects under the strategic plan, including the building of the new Eswatini parliament, will cost around 1.7 billion in Malangeni. Reporting for Eswatini TV News, I am Samkel Suekoza, Matsapa. The government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, has donated 36,500 personal pers protective uh, equipment to the Ministry of Health. Now, the PPEs were handed over by the Taiwan ambassador to the Kingdom of Eswatini, Jeremy Liang, to the Minister of Health, Li Zinkosi, at the Central Medical Stores in Matsapa. The government of the Republic of China on Taiwan continues to support the Kingdom of Eswatini in fighting against COVID-19. On Thursday... The ambassador Jeremy Liang handed over 36,500 disposable coveralls to the Ministry of Health. The Taiwanese ambassador applauded Eswatini for supporting the Taiwanese participation in the activities, mechanisms, and meeting of the World Health Organization. I'm very happy this uh, donation, like many other cooperative. Uh, 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 events between the um, embassy and the ministry of uh, uh, health this one same as the previous ones signify, signifies the strong bond between taiwan and eswatini also between the embassy and the ministry of uh, health when receiving the donation the minister appreciated taiwan for her continued support in the kingdom's fight against COVID-19. Taiwan, <laughs> 
the Minister of Health, Li Zinkosi, ended the meeting by thanking the Taiwan Embassy for standing with Eswatini through the COVID-19 era. Reporting for Eswatini TV News is Sanzi Sumlambo with Vuminkosi Nzinisa in Matapa. The Senate President Lindy Wedlameni says the launch of the Swatin Parliament Strategic Plan and new website sets a pathway for an effective legislature and parliamentary business. Now, the Senate President was speaking during the launch of the two Parliament tools, which are aimed at enhancing the efficiency and effectiveness of the parliamentary or parliament operations. The Prime Minister Cleopas Lameni has launched the Parliament of a Swatin Strategic Plan for the period 2022 to 2026. The plan has been developed with the support from the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, and consultations from the University of Eswatini. Speaking during the launch, Senate President Lindiwe Lamini said, these two tools are indeed an interpretation of reviving the first world aspirations of the nations, as eloquently alluded to by His Majesty King Mswati III in his speech from the throne earlier this year. The strategic plan and website are indeed an interpretation of reviving the first world aspirations of the nation as eloquently alluded to by His Majesty in his speech from the throne earlier this year. It is our utmost belief that Parliament and the Executive will work together to implement the strategic plan with a common purpose of creating the desired sustainable development in our country. The Speaker of the House, Petros Mavimbela, says the launch tools show how Parliament is committed in ensuring that service delivery of Parliament of the Kingdom of Eswatini is effective and efficient for the betterment of the people of Eswatini. It shows how the Parliamentary Service Board, management, including development partners, are committed in ensuring service delivery of the Parliament of the Kingdom of Eswatini is effective and efficient for the betterment of the people of Eswatini. UNDP Eswatini's resident representative Rosa Batidira said these tools will enhance physical environment needed to accelerate progress towards reaching the SDGs targets. The Parliament strategic plan that is about to be launched, if effectively implemented, will enhance the regulatory and fiscal environment needed to accelerate progress towards reaching the SDG targets. The University of Eswatini's Vice Chancellor, Professor Justice Twala, said the university's involvement in the development of these tools shows how the university is vital in the country's development. The University of Eswatini is humbled. We have participated in supporting the Parliament of the Kingdom of Eswatini in developing this strategic plan that is being launched today. We are very delighted to have made a contribution to Parliament, which is the legislative heart of the nation, because indeed it represents constituencies in all corners of the country. The strategic plan has five pillars, including service delivery, amongst others. Reporting for Swatini TV News, I'm Samgal Siwakosa Matsapa. Right now, let's see how our markets are performing today in our financial report. Standard Bank. It can be. Welcome back. You're still with the news bulletin at ET at Swatton TV. Thanks so much for choosing to stay with us. I'm Sunny Boy Ngoane. Right now, we shall take a look at news making headlines in the world of sports. Table tennis will, for the first time in the history of the association, send a team to represent the country internationally where they will partake in the African Champs qualifiers in the Republic of South Africa this month. Now, the association's president, Percy Zulu, says the national championships will be held this coming weekend in preparations for the international assignment. Zulu was speaking to Swatton TV Sports in Babani. 
Eswatini Table Tennis Federation will for the very first time in their history release a national team to represent the Kingdom of Eswatini in the Africa Championships qualifiers in the Republic of South Africa this month. national team in table tennis for the first time in the country. The association's president, Pesi Zuru, says for that matter, national championships will be held this coming weekend in order to be able to recruit the team for the national team in South Africa. Zuru says they want to ensure that the country is well represented. Zulu says the first participation to the international tournaments by the association is indeed a sign of growth for the sport in the country. For Swatin TV Sports, for Pisum Sonera, Mbamane. We've come to the conclusion of our news bulletin at 8 at Swatin TV. Thanks so much for choosing to stay with us. We shall now uh, take a re-look at our top stories. His Majesty King Imswati III today received letters of credence from the Ambassador of Portugal to Eswatini and the Ambassador of Ghana to Eswatini. The patron of the Eswatini Hospice at Home in Goskatilanga says it remains the organization's top priority to see the nation joining hands and enabling it to meet its obligations. And the Prime Minister of Eswatini Cleopas Damini says the Parliament of Eswatini's strategic plan and website is not only aligned with the national strategy, but it also provides crucial content that will be instrumental in achieving its objectives. Beautiful Kingdom of Swatin, we've come to the conclusion of our news bulletin at 8 at Swatin TV. Thank you so much for choosing to stay with us. We shall now cross over to the Weather Center for a detailed weather report from us and the rest of the crew at Swatin TV. For now, it's good night and good bless.